Do I have a special video for you guys today? I've heard I've heard about this store a number of times. We are in somewhere's in Ohio. Valley City. Valley City, Ohio. We are at Aquatica Aquarium Gallery. I'm really excited for a number of reasons. First and foremost, it looks like it's a, a massive place. So we're just gonna jump right in. I'll give you guys a tour. I've never been in here before, but like I said, I've heard about it from you guys and in the comments and you guys knew I was coming to Ohio and many of you said, you gotta stop by here. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh wow, so we just walked in this front door and immediately I'm, I'm already loving it. I love how they put stuff up here too. Wow. All right, so I wonder what kind of store this is going to be. Beautiful little reefs. Oh, a number of reefs. Oh, what a great way to stack your uh, stagger the tanks for sale too, right? You get more in there, but you can kind of get an idea of what each one looks like. Sorry, I, I'll show a little bit of everything, but this tank is beautiful too. But you know what I just saw when we first come in here? We go around the corner here. <clears throat> I'm Joey, by the way. Hey, Joey. Yeah. Hey, yeah. We've met. We've met? Yeah. I've met so many people. Where did we meet? At the, uh, we went out to uh, Manhattan and... Uh... Oh, put the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it goes all the way back? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it goes, there's rooms, there's different rooms. And... Different rooms, okay. Um, we actually, you, you'll see, you'll see custom acrylic tank that we actually build custom tanks here. Oh wow! Yeah, you'll see all the, yeah, actually like the the water features and stuff. Like we have a <coughs> like a waterfall. Like this is kind of hard to see, but there's actually a it's a stream. It's oh wow! Up, and then it actually goes down into here, and there's a tank underneath. You built all this? Yeah. How did you do that? I've always wanted to do one. I have no clue how they work. Can I go have a closer look? Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, I, I love these type of features, but I hate the evaporation. Yeah. Right? So I made everything internal. Oh, that yeah, is yeah. cool. So that way. Oh, so it's just a spray bar. Yeah, yeah. Spray okay. Bar. It's just a, it's a. That is cool. And so everything is housed under here. There's a sump over here, but right. everything is enclosed, so there's no evaporation. So we basically topped this off maybe five gallons in a year. Wow, and it is just a water feature. It's yeah, not yeah, connected it's to anything. No. Yeah. That is cool. This is really cool. Part of the, 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 the checkout is... Yeah, you used to be able to see the whole thing, but now we have oh, so much wonderful. merchandise. But yeah, so pretty much water comes up through here. There's some condensation, but yeah, it's actually a meandering. Yeah, that is cool. And then it goes into a tank, gets filtered through. Yeah, I like that. What, where did you get the idea to do that? You just thought... I think that like acrylic makes things so possible that you can have crazy ideas, yeah. Like, uh, I always wanted to keep birds, but I, I hated having birds in a regular cage. Oh, wow, well, built the bird cage. What is that, parakeet or something? It's a Kanye. Okay. Some Kanye. I will bite. <laughs> wow, that is cool. You'll see everything made out of acrylic. Like this is, you know, we built that. You built the stand out of acrylic. Yeah. Wow. It's all acrylic. So I built tanks stands uh, up to like seven, seven hundred fifty gallons, all out of acrylic. Wow. How does somebody? They just come in the store, tell you what they want, and if you got, the, if you can get them yeah, in time. Yeah, we have a shop in the back. Can I look at it? Yeah. yeah it's oh. <laughs> Wow, so we came to look at, uh, tour, tour the store. This is a big tank that we built. Well, we're still going to store, tour the store? Can I get a picture with you after you're done? Yeah, of course, of course. Wow. We're going to tour the store, but... Man, this is awesome. Thank you for having me here. I can't... Is that turtle real? No. No, it's He doesn't move a lot, <laughs> Wow. Oh, you built these too? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, actually this is built out of quarter inch because you you bend yeah, it. Yeah. How do you, how you do you bend it? Do you have an oven or do you do yeah. it with like? This is a line bender. Ah, oh, okay. Do it on a nice like, a like a heated. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Let's see the shop and then I'll. Uh, no, if it's okay, you don't don't feel pressured. Yeah, no, no. So basically. <clears throat> right yeah. Of course. Yeah. Bra sheets. Sheet goods get cut, jointed, on the table. Do you have people helping you or do you actually do it? So, yeah, I had a 
<laughs> right now, the whole business is on its, you know, I'm almost 60, so. Okay. Uh, You're almost 60? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have guessed so, that. They're my age. I'm kind of on the retirement. Uh, yeah. So I had a full-time guy that used to do this, and we had a whole crew. We actually had three ships going. But now I'm scaling back quite a bit and just kind of letting somebody that has the passion to uh, take over the business. Yeah. Well, if I ever can move to Ohio in the next little while, I'll let you know. <laughs> I can help you. <laughs> I'd love to do this. Wow. Yeah, so you build the tanks on, on, on order. Do you do a lot of them? Well, like, we used to. Yeah? Uh, now we're kind of, we're only doing, you know, things that are no bigger than probably 300. Oh, gallons. okay. Wow. But I mean, we are so short staffed right now, and that's kind of the problem with yeah, just the whole industry. Yeah, um, like buried back there is a a huge CNC laser machine that I haven't even opened that opened. Uh, so this can cut all the acrylic. It's actually buried. You haven't opened it yet? No. Wow. No. So this. Oh wow! Is, this is a. It's a huge laser machine yeah. that can do all the cutting and everything. Oh, wow. And when you get that going... I can do a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, but we're just so busy with all everything else that we're doing. I yeah. haven't even had the chance to open it up and get it running. Well, I was at Tidal Gardens and, uh, with, the, with Dan, yeah. and you built um, a lot of his tanks. Yeah. And they were beautiful. Beautifully well done. Wow, thanks for showing me this area. Yeah, there's actually a big <laughs> there's quite a few of my Is there? Okay. Wow. Wow. Where, so where do you recommend that I start in the store, do you think? What do you like uh, in the store most? Um, nice frontosa. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, it's all I guess I like to find what I like. Yeah. 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 All right. I'll, 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 uh, I'll be off we to it. We have a lot of nanosystems. Like, you know, people don't realize that we've had these saltwater tanks set up for probably 15 years. Did we actually frag out of here? No way. Yeah. It's a very simple system. We tell people, hey, you do water changes. All you need is just water movement mm -hmm. and light. Oh. Same oh. thing. I mean, we actually, these hammers and this macro algae, we frag out of here all nice. the time. We dose it every day with the Bionic, the two-part uh, system. Well, I have a macro algae tank, yeah. and I never do water changes. I don't have a skimmer on it. Yeah. I top it up sometimes. Sometimes I'll do a water change. Yeah. If, whatever. It's so easy to keep. Man, this is so cool. Little lounge. Oh, did you build these too? No, this is all glass. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. It's fully fun. What, was this like a house at some point? Or? No, no, no. So we kind of wanted to make this into kind of a more homey kind of an area. So when customers come, we actually have a register back there. People can sit and have a drink. Yeah, and, wow. And just uh, do the, we do the quotes and stuff. And uh, yeah, we kind of made it into like a true hobbyist uh, yeah. store. If you want. So we carry, if you look at our inventory, we carry things like that you would only find on the internet. Uh, parts. Well, I'm so, yeah, I see these hoses and stuff. These are hard to get a hold of for me. But I, I do see what you're talking about. Oh, and the filter saw. Yeah, bulk hose oh wow! Yeah. yeah. Do you what did you, what do you have for plumbing supplies? Uh, we have everything. A whole back room. I have. Oh yeah, right here. That just a little bit. But yeah. Yeah, have, plumbing supplies are hard to come by in a fish store too. Yeah, we have pretty much. I mean, we have adapters. You know, we have, oh yeah. You name it, lock like, line. Wow. And we have locks. You have everything. Oh, you did this right. That's for sure. So as far as parts, you know, just. Just availability of uh, product. We probably carry. If you want lighting, we probably carry. I'm gonna say. Oh yeah, that entire back wall. Yeah, we carry everything. Pagan lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was I see the Eagle like, Hey guys. Good to meet you, man. Good to <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, the G8s or the G6s. Uh, the thing about the Ecotech, I know they're incredibly expensive, yeah. but I have been running mine six years straight without a problem, yeah. and they're as good as the same day that I yeah, got them. Yeah, over some of our tanks, we have Gen 2 Ecotech. Uh, I wonder, side. yeah. These are all frag tanks that we built. You built all these too. Yeah. Do you find that it's cheaper to build, or you're just getting what you want when you want it? 
It's it, actually for me, it's cheaper to build Cheaper to, yeah. yeah. And, and so I've actually learned what you can get away with. These are all built out of quarter inch. Yeah, I've always so nervous to build too, too thin. So basically it's it's strapping it and, and keeping the bottom and top from flexing. Right. So as the bottom and top flexes, that causes the, the front, the sides to flex. So if that's straight, it's gonna stay straighter. So it's very important that the top is thicker. thicker. People don't realize. And then the bottom, if it's supported by like really solid, like if, if it's on concrete with styrofoam, yeah. if the bottom doesn't bow, the side can't bow. Interesting, because I always use the same thickness on top. But I had noticed, I think it was at Thans, he had a couple tanks where the brace was thicker yes. than the sides. And I was like, oh, well, maybe he just had extra or... No, no, just that actually a makes a real difference. Wow. Yeah. How, how did you learn that? By accident or you just tested it one day? So I've been actually building acrylic tanks since 1987. <laughs> 1987. Wow. Yeah, I've actually I learned from uh, that's when acrylic tanks weren't even acrylic products weren't even yeah. around. So I kind of was the first guy in this Ohio in the area to actually bring in acrylic stuff. You know, it was mainly in California. Right. Um, so I met a guy and uh, he actually came from Florida. He was building uh, acrylic tanks and I learned some of the you know tricks of the trade and then I experimented with a lot of different things and I found out hey. You know, like my bottoms here are made out of ABS plastic. So you can actually take a hammer, hammer it. What? It's all ABS. Oh, and it's black too, yeah. isn't it? See, I'll show you, let me show you these tanks. Like these are the store tanks that I built for a lot of the stores. So this is the first generation, but the, the new generation has black ABS bottom. Oh, so first generation's regular oh, trailer, yeah. regular cast, and then you went ABS. But I found, found out how you could actually bond that to that really strong, but it's impact resistant. So you can actually take, if I took a, a brick, dropped it on this, it's gonna crack. Yeah. If I dropped it on that, it's fine. Wow. Are you still using the same solvent to bond? We actually mix our own solvent. Okay. What do you, what do you mix it in, like chloroform or something? So, you know, it's, it's, uh, methyl chloride is, is, <coughs> is the solvent that actually melts it, but then you mix it with, uh, uh a slowing agent, like, uh, uh diacetone. Oh, and then so for things not to, uh, blush, you need to add acetic acid, glacial acetic acid to a certain... You taught yourself all that? Or is it just tr through the trade? Well, through the trade, talking with right. the, the kind of like, you know, you know, Norm, Norm Robbins that used to own the Clarity Plus? Okay. So he was influential. I asked. I asked a lot of questions to right. people that have been doing it. Yeah, those types of things. A lot of a lot of um, people don't like to reveal right. how they do things. Uh, but Norm was very open. He wanted to share. He yeah. wanted people to be able to do this correctly. That's right. And 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 if we don't share those ideas, yeah. those, the way that things get done, and even I do things a lot different. If it doesn't mean I'm wrong or I'm right, yeah. but there are so many different ways, and you're finding ways to do it better. Yeah, and it initially it was just an experiment because nobody else really was doing it. Right. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this, see how long it lasts. So right. I have tanks at my house that I've had for over 30 years that have just dissimilar material bonded together that's holding up fine. Uh, you built all of these? Yeah. And then this is more of a... Um... This I bought used from Petland when they had the yeah. DAS systems, you know? They, the DOS, yeah. yeah but... They still make good systems, though. I mean, they, I mean, they leak and stuff. I reseal them. <laughs> they <day>. leak. <laughs> yeah, they're horrible. Yeah. But they're, you know, you can repair it. Wow, so cool. This is a, this is a very cool store. What do you have for fish in here right now that you were like, you got to see this? So I, I just lost a Motoro female stingray. My oh, last no. female stingray that was in there. She was. 30, like 32 years old. 32 yeah. year old Motoro yeah. female. How big was she? She's probably about that. Yeah, three feet almost. So this place keeps going on. What's over here? There's more, it's a more fisher? Also the filtration system I gotta show you. So see how this rack, they're 10 gallon racks. But you can view it on both sides. Oh, on both sides, yeah. And it's actually filtered through the uh, German Matten, Matten style yeah. filter that's actually pushing water this way, one side the other way. 
it's divided. No way. Yeah. That is such a cool way to do that. So it's got two lift tubes, one coming out this way and the other side going out that way. Did you come up with this idea? I've never seen this yeah. before. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna, maybe I'll cut this part out because I think people are going <laughs> to take your idea, but you'll get credited, of course. Wow, that's a great way to, to yeah, double so, the... So, ten gallon tanks are the least expensive, you know, yeah. taken by, right? Yeah. And they hold for shrimps and for nano fish. Yeah. To be able to get to both sides. I mean, I would have a whole store just rows of... Yeah, tanks, yeah. All operated by, you know, uh, one of these, uh, you know, yeah, Big airplane, big by, AP. By, yeah, you, you know, Eugene Danner. Now it's uh, called Supreme. This is genius. There's a few things that you've done here that are pretty genius, and uh, this is definitely one of them. Probably top five. That's a really cool idea. That is interesting. So that's one. Thing Very unique, I should say. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing, yeah. So all of these other fill of tanks, they're all those uh, natural fills. And I like to do these cold substrates for plants. Okay. So that way, if you want to totally sterilize this tank, it's very right. easy. You just pull, you know, everything out. And they're not connected, are they? No. Everything everything in my store is separate. Separate. Even yeah. the salt water. Every yes. individual tank is separate. Nice. I don't believe in a central system because of just, you know, the volume you, of fish that we're bringing in. You're obviously going to bring you're gonna in something. You're going to have something every once in a while. Wipe out your entire yeah. system or just one tank? Yeah. yeah. That is cool. That's Oh yeah, so I built these. These are actually on wheels. Everything's made out of ABS plastic. This is too? Yeah, this is all, all quarter inch ABS plastic. This is very strong. Wow. Yeah, so everything comes apart. Like I can actually pull this whole thing apart. And this actually will, will move on the, you know, basically I just drain. Yeah, it move it a little bit, off. yeah. Wow. My saltwater frag tanks are all like this where it's actually, I even make uh, rolling carts. Oh, carts. It's all out of the ABS plastic. You're so creative, man. Wow. Well, when you when you retire, man, we're gonna lose quite the asset <laughs> from the hobby. So I'm glad I'm, I'm getting you on camera and uh, get getting to at least, you know. Do you use a lot of polycarbonate? No. So you should. Like all the lids in, in my place are made out of polycarbonate. Okay. You yeah. need to use polycarbonate. Acrylic doesn't absorbs a lot of water, so it just. Sags. It sags, but polycarbonate has a it. much, much lower coefficient of absorption of moisture. So mm -hmm. not only is it impact resistant where you can do this and it's not gonna, yeah. it's not gonna chip, but it also. I start doing that for the legs. Yeah, for sure. That so, is cool. Maybe I will. Yeah, great idea. And the other fish room you had, did you build those tanks too, or? Uh, you'll see. Yeah. Okay. There's, they're mainly 10 gallon tanks in there too. Okay. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, so like similarly, like, yeah. yeah. This, is all, this is all made out of that ABS. Hmm. You have so much in such a relatively small space. Yeah. Very, yeah, we, we pack everything in. Yeah, you've, uh, and it doesn't feel crowded in here though. Well, the money shouldn't be going up. Every time I turn a corner, I feel like I'm in a different store. I, I don't remember any seeing any of this. Uh, I could spend hours in here. I gotta see that other area though. It's down through here. Gotta love that animal. Tim Fobars. Holy! Oh, wow! Wait a minute. <laughs> oh man. Is it go around the corner too? No, no, that's a door. Wow. What do we got here? You see the like the big fish too. Was he a rescue or a trade in? Yeah. Shovel nose. Oh, nice discus. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I've never done a store tour where I was more interested in the store layout and how everything's done and constructed as I have been here. This has been really interesting. Obviously, you know, uh, at quick glance, all the fish are fantastic. Water quality, the quality of the fish, 
Um, you have plenty of staff here. You mentioned being short, short staff, but it seems as though nobody, no customers are standing around or waiting for help. Or well, today was a special day. We, we actually got as many people as I could here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that uh, these scats and archers. Okay. Oh, and this is a brackish tank. So this is a clouded archers, yeah. The beauty of these guys, they can, they can go back and forth. Yeah. Fresh salt or fresh brackish, it doesn't matter. Wow. Did it all start like this? Is this the original store location? No. Um, so basically, originally, I was wholesale manufacturing only. Oh. And um, this was just a, a garage for a landscape company. Okay. And it was uh, it was on the market. Did go through? It was on the market pretty inexpensively, so I, I bought it and kind of converted it into a uh, kind of a I don't know, like a gallery. Let's yeah. Because we call ourselves Aquatica Aquarium Gallery. Yeah. Um, and we were only open to wholesale customers and their clients, like aquarium maintenance guys would come oh. in and they would show them my custom tanks and they would actually order from here. Oh. But you know, they would like I would be like the showroom for the other wholesale accounts. And then what inspired you to turn it into an, a full blown fish store? Um, as I got more known, people were just coming in and saying, Hey, can I buy stuff or can I, can I come in? So we started opening up just on the weekends, which grew to Friday, Saturday and Sunday, which grew to Thursday, oh, Friday, okay. yeah. Well it seems as though your customer base built uh, the need for a business, which is never a bad thing. Yeah. The demand. The demand for you to open your doors. Please let us buy from you. That is awesome. That's a great story. Huh. How old are those tinfoil barbs? Those guys are probably not ten. Ten years old. Yeah. Wow. They look great shape. I would have guessed them be a little bit younger. Some classic silver. Oh. I actually have some uh, Raphael catfish at one of my other warehouses um, okay. that I've had since nineteen seventy eight. 1978. Wow. Yeah, they're big. Oh, they're just big, incredible. They're really old. Just incredible. Yeah. Well, my friend, I think that I've gotten everything that I wanted out of this. I'm gonna like kind of look at the fish, I guess, and yeah, kind of yeah. peek around. But uh, man, this is so impressive. Thank you so much. Um, what is? How do people find this place? What's the location and, and that sort of thing? If we if we just want to go from there. We're in Valley City, Ohio. Um, kind of suburb of Cleveland. Kind of in the middle of nowhere, but people do find us. Yeah. Big parking lot. Lots of parking. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that uh, I was not expecting this, and I don't think you guys would have either, to have such a, an interesting uh, layout of a store and how he's building everything. But I hope, also hope that like, at some point you guys can scoot into this store and enjoy it yourselves. I think you're going to be equally as impressed as I am. Uh, but if you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to this channel if you're not already. I will see you guys in the next video.